guys there is nothing that has discredited the mainstream media more in my mind than Russiagate right Russiagate because even people on the left the progressives know that it's fake right obviously conservatives knows that it's fake the only people to actually believe it are the gullible liberals and the establishment that's it those are the only people that actually believe the trump russiagate stuff okay and the reason why is because russiagate is essentially propaganda to keep us uh in countries like afghanistan right where we basically historically have been fighting a proxy war with russia over control of the country it's basically used by the department of defense to justify russian fear mongering right that, that's what it is and the mainstream media plus the establishment democrats try to frame trump as some type of manchurian candidate that's working with putin right even though trump has established numerous sanctions against uh putin and russia throughout his administration right trump has not been soft on russia despite what the media tells you okay and then, and then all these attempts right all these attempts to to try to smear trump on this right like the Mueller uh report nothing couldn't find anything directly connected to trump you know he concluded that hey you know um although you know russia worked to try to get trump elected okay and they may have paid for some advertising campaigns to promote trump but i can't have a direct link to trump like i can't form a conspiracy that trump and russia were directly involved in working with each other that is literally his conclusion okay no direct link but if you listen to the mainstream media uh they make it sound like trump and putin was working so closely together and so directly connected that uh, they might as well have been sleeping together <laughs> that's what a lot of people think a lot of people think trump and putin have some type of special relationship with each other that's borderline romantic that that, that that is how the media has brainwashed people into thinking about this whole russia gate thing and you had to steal dossier right where they was saying all types of crazy stuff like you know trump getting pp showers from russian prostitutes all types of crazy stuff right and the most recent uh conspiracy theory right is that russia is putting bounties on u.s soldiers heads in afghanistan okay and, and trump basically came out and called us a hoax he called it a hoax okay and then the media smeared him for it right the media smeared him our worldly today president trump dismissing the russian bounty intelligence story as a hoax meant to damage him and republicans the president often Touts his relationship with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. The, the White House also responding tonight to a bombshell report accusing Russia of offering bounties to the Taliban to kill American soldiers in Afghanistan. And now you know from this reporting in the New York Times, which has since been confirmed by the Wall Street Journal, that not only does the president know that Russia was paying for American soldiers' deaths. News. Get this. The Washington Post is now reporting that the alleged Russian bounties to Taliban fighters in Afghanistan are believed to have resulted in the deaths of U.S. troops. Like this New York Times story about a stunning U.S. intel assessment finding that Russia secretly ordered, uh, offered Afghan militants bounties to kill U.S. troops. So comes under fire over those bombshell reports that the White House was told Russia was paying bounties to kill U.S. troops in Afghanistan. The most important application of that question is what did the president know about Vladimir Putin offering a bounty for the killing of American soldiers in Afghanistan, and when did he know it? A senior Afghan official confirmed to CBS News that the reports were not only true, but the Russian government achieved some success with their plans. Very Kaley, I cannot tell a lie, McEnany, insists the president does in fact read everything he needs to read. We need to look at the real threat to U.S. troops and the risk that Russia was putting a bounty on their heads. That Americans found out this weekend that Vladimir Putin is paying to put bounties on the heads of american troops okay and now lo and behold the intelligence community is coming out and saying hey you know 
those bounty things we were talking about in terms of bounties that Russia was putting on U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan, we don't really know if that's true. We have a low level of confidence that that's actually true. Will you please forgive us? We're sorry. Okay? So they come out and basically say, listen, uh, this is probably bullshit. <laughs> right? That's literally what they're saying. But yet, the mainstream media can't give it up. They can't give it up. Right? As the Washington Post stands by their four Pinocchios rating for the Trump claim that the bounty intel was fake news. Okay? So let's read a little bit more. The Washington Post is standing by a four Pinocchios fact check rating. It gave then President Donald Trump last year, even after U.S. intelligence backed away from reports that Russia placed bounties on the heads of American soldiers in Afghanistan. A senior Biden administration official said Thursday the intelligence community only had, quote, low to moderate confidence in the report, meaning it was unproven and possibly untrue due to a reliance on detainee reporting. The revelation came as Biden announced a new series of sanctions against Russia. The alleged bounties were not among the reasons cited as justification for the sanctions. Okay, so the Biden administration, and kudos to them for being upfront about the BS, basically said, listen, we don't really know if this is true or not. Honestly, we have low confidence in terms of whether or not this is actually true. Now, again, you saw the Washington Post. Okay, how they didn't apologize for this, right? They still gave Trump four Pinocchios. But I, I, I understand why. Because, guys, I want to remind you of the media coverage, right? All these tweets that you see, okay, and all the rhetoric that these people were spouting during this time period, right? Because they were so confident that this was true. And remember, guys, the mainstream media... They get everything right. That's why all us alternative media folks are being censored because we're untrustworthy. But these guys right here, they got your back. Despite those denials over and over, sources tell CNN that last week the U.S. even shared that intelligence with British officials as some of the British troops would have been targeted as well. Yeah, uh, to, to say nothing of, of putting bounties on, on American troops. Um, it's unbelievable, Joy. Yeah. Public reporting that Russia had bounties on the heads of American soldiers. And you know what a bounty is? It's somebody puts a price on your head and they will pay it if you are killed. Again, this is why I say that mainstream media has lost all credibility. They really have. And like I said, and this is also why I say that the Russia Gate thing is a part of it. Okay, because almost everything that they try to stick to Trump in regards to this is basically untrue. Right? It's unfounded. It's based off very, very little evidence. Or they exaggerate the actual findings, like the Mueller report. And it's really a damn shame that they can't admit when they're wrong. Right? They can't go back and say, you know what? We were wrong about this. And it was wrong for us to pit this against Trump without actually knowing that this was proven stuff. And because the intelligence community has come out and basically said that what we were saying was bullshit... Uh, we retract our claims and we apologize. But they're not going to do that. They're going to carry on as if they're the arbiters of truth and that alternative media, guys like me and other people, are uh, right-wing, cuckoo-for-cocoa-puff nut jobs that don't know anything, okay? And all these platforms like Facebook, Twitter, right, that go along with it, they're promoting the mainstream news as fact-based, when really, the mainstream news is the fake news. It's been proven time and time and time and time again. How many times do they have to get it wrong? And I'm, I get it. Nobody's perfect. Everybody gets it wrong every now and then. But these outlets, a lot of these outlets, they have an agenda, right? They're pushing the agenda of the establishment, okay? All that Russia stuff was just <laughs> the military's excuse to push anti-russian propaganda so that we can be justified to stay in afghanistan that's all that was right and you can even see now guys i mean just as proof now that biden's trying to pull out and trump gave credit uh to biden for pulling out oh now all of a sudden all these pieces are coming out about how bad it is for us to pull out because they don't want biden to leave right and all, i mean some of these pieces guys are ridiculous they, they talk about feminism in afghanistan 
Okay, they're trying everything that they can to justify this stuff. And this is why for as much as I want to believe the UFO stuff coming out of the Pentagon, a part of me just can't, right? A part of me is just like, ah, like, you know, I, I'm not sure about this because it, it almost seems like everything that comes out from our intelligence community is hogwash, right? And it's really sickening because the Democrats join the neocon warmongers like Liz Cheney to try to use that as an excuse to tie Trump's hands and put more restrictions on uh, Trump trying to withdraw from Af Afghanistan, right? These are the hoops that Trump had to jump through just to pull troops out of Afghanistan. He still couldn't even get it done, right? That's how tied up Trump's administration was, really, to be quite honest with you, right? That, that is who he was fighting against. This man was fighting against the whole establishment okay at times right and you know it, it really is a damn shame it really is that our media has lost all credibility right these politicians have lost credibility our intelligence community has lost credibility you know it, it really just leaves me speechless okay because this type of stuff mislead the american people right and when american people are misled then they become ignorant Right. I, I want the American people to be informed and educated about what's going on, not brainwashed by the mainstream media. OK, because, oh, orange man bad. We don't like orange man. So therefore, we're going <laughs> to try to say everything is orange man's fault. Right. We're going to keep orange man from pulling out of Afghanistan, even though most of the American people, that's what they want. Right. They want our troops to come home. That's what the public is at at this point. But nope, can't do that. Right. Got to keep the war going okay got to keep the money flowing okay so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace